Hey folks, this video I'll be doing a painting here in the studio. We're about 12 weeks into the COVID-19 effort here in Washington State to prevent the spread of the virus and in the last few weeks the protests and the unrest over the murder of George Floyd has jumped into the middle of the virus. It really feels like a turning point in our country. It was heartbreaking seeing the video of George Floyd. Uh, I know that we have a problem with systemic racism in this country and then to find out that that man, that evil person with his knee on George's neck was actually a trainer in that police department and the three other officers were actually his subordinates. Um, just, just heartbreaking. But I'm hoping, like many of you, that these peaceful protests and this undeniable proof that everyone has seen and, and just can't turn their eyes, can't turn their hearts away from, will bring about some positive change. Um, I don't think many of us are looking for revolution. We're just looking for sensible partnership. Come together, find some steps, take some real action, and bring about positive change. That's what we all hope. Uh, so do your part. If you can get out there and join those peaceful protests, please do if you feel safe. It's very worrisome that this is happening during the pandemic. Just when we were seeing some good results here in Washington State, um, many people are out for the right reason protesting, but they are, you know, not socially distancing. It's been great seeing the masks. I've been really happy seeing the face masks on many of the protesters. Just another sign that these are good hearted people out there putting their lives on the, on the line, really exposing themselves and their families to the pandemic to get their message across. So support them if you can. Make a donation or get that, get out there with them, and uh, again we'll we'll get through this together. Thanks so much for watching this video. My heart goes out to all of you, and um, I hope this little video about meditation will help you as we go through these stressful times, and hopefully it'll give you a little bit of rest and relaxation, which we all need um, while we're fighting the good fight and going back to work. Hopefully soon or doing our part, hopefully this gives you a little bit of help and a little bit of an escape if you need one and a way to get some peace of mind. Hello, welcome back to my studio. I'm doing another studio painting today, another small blossom painting. Found some more pretty blossoms in the neighborhood. I've been staying sane by taking walks around the neighborhood, getting outside as much as I can without traveling, trying to abide by the stay home order, but still getting some fresh air. I hope you're hanging in there. I hope you're holding up well and able to enjoy this if possible. If you've lost loved ones or if you're one of the workers out there on the front lines, my heart goes out to you. I hope you're taking care of yourself and getting rest and meditation and support wherever you can. Um, I hope these videos I create are a pleasant distraction, a way for you to escape your worries a bit. Um, and if you're stuck at home and just needing something to do, I really recommend drawing, painting, being creative. It's a way to escape. Get away from the news and just sink into something beautiful. So I found uh, these little tiny blossoms on a shrub near the neighborhood school. And here I've taken the photo. I have my third lines drawn for quick and easy composition. I modified the photo a little bit. I moved some of the blossoms around. I darkened some areas, lightened some others. So I also recommend Procreate. It's a great tool uh, for your iPad if you want to play with that using the, I the Apple Pencil. It's really easy to make composition adjustments to shrink things, edit things, add things. Uh, it's really opened a whole new dimension in my artwork and really straightforward, really easy to use. So I've got the composition laid out here. I've got these three blossoms along this one third line. I've got this blossom close to the intersection of this one third line without being spot on. I don't ever feel too constrained to be 
spot on right at the intersections, but just in general, I kind of try to place the points of interest along those one-third lines. So I've got my blank white panel here that I hand prepared. I've got some nice texture on there with acrylic gesso, and I've got the one-third lines drawn. Now you'll see as I scrub this in using a diluted turpentine wash, I'm going to scrub away those lines because I don't want them to show through the paint later. I may leave some of that initial wash as just part of the permanent painting. You may notice as I paint with my big bristle brush that I'm scrubbing a little bit to erase those pencil lines. And uh, I really use a lot of turpentine so I'm going to open the window and turn on the ventilator fan to keep the studio here well ventilated. Turpentine can cause bad effects. I use the high grade artist quality distilled turpentine but still you don't want to breathe the fumes. So if you're using it in your studio or even outside make sure you have a lot of ventilation get those fumes away from you. Don't be afraid to make a mess at this stage. Use a lot of turpentine, use a lot of paint, let it drip and splash just throw a drop cloth down on the floor under your easel because it can make a mess and it can be hard to clean up. But yeah, let it do some crazy things. You'll find that it really makes some happy mistakes, some unexpected colors and effects that maybe you can use in the final painting. I often mention that painting is like meditation for me. So in this episode, I'm going to explain a little bit about how I approach that. Actually, over the years, I've treated painting like meditation to help calm and still my heart and my mind, especially when things aren't going well, when um, I have things in my life that are distressing to me, such as the loss of a friend or a loved one or a pet or being separated from friends and family. Meditation has really helped me. So I wanted to share how I go about that, doing something I love to do, painting and also meditating. First thing is clear your distractions and get rid of potential distractions. Put your phone on do not disturb. Ask your family for some space. Put in headphones with music you like. Get comfortable. Make sure the temperature is comfortable for you, not too hot, not too cold. Something that's not going to be distracting you. Make sure you're comfortable either standing or sitting for a decent amount of time. You can get up and move around and stretch. I encourage that, but for certain periods of time you want to be able to focus on painting and painting alone. Commit to yourself that you won't multitask while you're painting. Multitasking is the enemy of deep concentration. You can't really focus on your painting if you are trying to do something else at the same time. So commit to yourself that you will not multitask while you're trying to paint, especially if you're using painting as a form of meditation.
to begin with, take a few deep breaths and be conscious, be deliberate about it. I like to breathe in for a heartbeat count of four. So if I'm still, and especially if I have headphones in, I can often feel or just very slightly hear my heartbeat. And so I like to time my breathing with that heartbeat. So I breathe in for a count of four. One, two, three, four. And then hold that for a count of four. One, two, three, four. And then breathe out for a count of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then hold that after you exhale. Hold that for a count of four. One, two, three, four. You may need to vary these durations to fit you. Different people have different heart rates, they have different lung capacity. If you repeat this breathing five or ten times, you should start to feel calm and your heart rate may even slow a little bit. If you use an Apple Watch or a, some kind of heart rate meter, you can check that. I find that my heart rate slows maybe 10 beats per minute when I really settle down and do a breathing exercise like that. One, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, hold, one, two, three, four. Next, think about why you're doing this painting and add as a form of meditation as part of the reason. If you want to really give this a try, make making this a form of meditation a reason for doing this painting. Now that you're in a calm state and you've focused in and you want to do this as a form of meditation, stand back from the painting, six feet or so, if you have the room. Put a smile on your face and think this is going to be fun and relaxing. Whether it works out as a painting or not, I'm going to enjoy this. If this seems ridiculous or impossible to enjoy the painting process or that painting might be fun or relaxing, Perhaps the subject or technical aspects of the painting are too difficult to use as meditation. Perhaps painting itself is not a joyful activity for you and is inherently stressful. If this is the case, you might want to try a different exercise. I suspect if you're watching this video, you love painting, and so it's probably a good thing to try. Now moving slowly, keeping your breathing slow and regular, begin to mix your colors. Stay present. If your mind wanders, bring yourself back to the task at hand. Your mind will wander. That's inevitable. That's natural. When it does, gently remind yourself to come back to this moment. Go back to the breathing exercise if needed. A few deep breaths can recenter you. Moving slowly and deliberately, make your first brush stroke. Step back often. Again, stay present. Your mind will wander. Bring yourself back to the task at hand. If your mind wanders, just remind yourself, come back to the moment. Come back to this brush stroke. Go slow. Go back to the breathing exercise if needed. Just a few deep breaths can calm you down, recenter you. If you need to, write down whatever's bothering you on a post-it note. Take a note on your phone. Put it aside until later. You'll get back to it. Stay centered on the current action. If you're mixing paint, just mix paint. That's all. If your mind wanders while you're mixing paint, gently bring it back to the present. Painting automatically focuses you. You need to be focused to make the right brush stroke. 
if you find yourself mindlessly making stroke after stroke, it'll lead to a distracted looking painting in my opinion. The paint strokes won't look deliberate, they'll look sloppy. Or you may have to redo them to get the effect you want over and over again. I'm not saying that meditation will make you a masterful painting, but in my opinion, it'll definitely take you down that path. You'll grow faster if you go slower and be more deliberate about your paint strokes. Take a break when you get tired. If you find you just can't concentrate, you can't stay present, take a break. Like everything, this takes practice. Your mind will wander, that's natural. If you catch yourself, bring yourself back gently to the current brush stroke. Take a break and have a cup of coffee or a drink of water or a cup of tea. Just don't drink too much caffeine. A little can help. It can help you be alert and present, but too much will make it harder. It'll make you jittery and more anxious, which can cause your mind to wander more. Most of all, enjoy the process. The feel of the paint, especially oil paint, is a joy. It's a joy to mix and to brush, scrape, and smear the paint. Build up your ability. It takes a long time in any meditation practice, but it's worth it. You'll find your concentration skills and your state of mind will both improve in as little as a few weeks. One thing to notice is, are you smiling? One thing I notice when I'm in the flow, when the painting is going well, when I'm deep into it and am shutting out all distractions, I'm smiling as I'm painting. Not a big goofy grin, but just a slight smile. Um, the feeling of happiness like I get when I'm out walking in a beautiful place. I'm enjoying the process. Well, here's the finished painting. Uh, it went pretty quick, had a pretty good time with it. Here's where I ended up. You can see the flowers in the background are really pretty loose. Left it as much as I could with the palette knife work. Played a little bit more with this front flower, adding just a little bit of definition, but still overall pretty abstract. Um, if you look at that background. Those purple lavender flowers in the background are just dabs of paint, just suggested. Same thing with the leaves in the distance in the background bush, just suggested. And that's really where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go for a realistic image from a distance, but as you get closer, as you look closer, it's abstract. The brushwork is just um, dabs of, of different color paint. I like that when you step away and the image consolidates, the image comes in to reality. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I hope this was a nice distraction for you and I will put it out on my website if you want to see a little better image, a little higher resolution image. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much.